He is a country music legend, a country music superstar. I would love to introduce to you now, John Rich, ladies and gentlemen. John Rich. Grab his hand. I want to bring out one of my friends. I've been a fan of this guy for many, many years. I think he's the funniest man alive. Uh, he spent a lot of years on Saturday Night Live. He's been in some of the biggest movies that have ever come out. And this guy is one of the bravest guys in all of entertainment because he decided he was through with the industry. He was going to say what he wanted to say and do it his way and be an American and they could just deal with it. And since he made that decision, he has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger as he should. One of the funniest guys, a patriot and a God-fearing man, y'all. Mr. Jim Brewer. Put your hands together for the ball. Come on, Jimbo. Come on, Jimmy. Johnny Rich. Thank you, John. What's happening? <laughs> Look at us hanging in a tent on a cold day. This is how bad we want to get things straightened up because, first of all, you've never been here. This ain't the easiest place to get to. I was convinced I was gonna get whacked today. <laughs> my, my wage was like, go up something dirt road. What? <laughs> I saw people five miles away from Walmart just walking with an American flag. Stop it, that's right. Which isn't easy when you start living in the country, because a lot of us are on blood thinners. That's a, that's a long walk when you hit a half a mile and you get the gout three times a year. I hope that General Flynn gets there before I go to see General Flynn. You say Trump is going in there, Eric, but I don't know if I'd buy that. I think that's just a prank that guy. <laughs> Isn't it weird how people still aren't awake? I flew up here from Florida, still have a couple just... I am not giving up the mask. <laughs> No one on the plane knows there's another variant on the way. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot in here. <sighs> Let me spray down my seat. <laughs> Wow. 
man. <laughs> Here in the NFL. Microphones and that stuff. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, did you ever see Star Wars? The Sith. The Sith. The one with the robe. And he goes, yes. Yes, use the anchor, use the oil. And you look at him going, he is the most ugliest, evil, non-human, it's George Soros! (laughs) 
nothing shall destroy America. From the Greek War. <laughs> then you have the robot Zuckerberg, who's been dead for ten years now. But <laughs> come on, man, you think that's human? Look, go on the internet and watch when he was front of, what was he, what was that, what was he in front of when he was talking to people and they were like, can we speak here today about Facebook? Was that Congress? Who sat there, yeah, thank you. So, watch the video. He goes like this. They didn't have sound on like, we can't edit this, we can't. <laughs> we gotta make him drink or something. They're starting to believe he's not human. <laughs> he, he took off the cat. Didn't even drink. He just. I'm just imitating what you'll see. <laughs> then you have this guy. It's all over the internet. Where is he? He's not even up here. The head of Pfizer. The CEO of Pfizer. I'm gonna beg all of you to look at the video. And he said to all humanity just a couple days ago, sitting with George Soros, and he's another one that's folks are there. You know, listen, no offense. Every time I see Schwab or Soros or the head of Pfizer, don't you kind of, kind of bring it back to the only thing missing is maybe a stiff leg? <laughs> We heard the vaccines are safe and effective, and now that it's not, do you have anything to say? <laughs> you know what he said? Look it up. I don't have time, my phone's over there. I actually play it on my podcast, it'll come out in a week or two. He says, he looks at this guy and he goes, and this is for any vaccine. I'm not saying you should get vaccinated. You should start looking into it because we trust people way too long. Way too long. Just believe anything. He says, you know, <laughs> and he's giggling. You know, I also remember it was 2019 when we met in California and we had a dream. This is what he says. And we said our plan from that dream were to cut the population by 50%. The only thing missing was him saying it like this. <laughs> If you're in the backyard, let's say, listen, you're not Christian, whatever, you had an off Christian day, you're getting stoned, and never listen to my wife. Now. I'm in Bible studies, and oh, let's not get into this, I'm not going to describe what marijuana, God man, I'm good man. Good. Don't bother me, it relaxes me. Okay, Charlie, I don't want to hear a lecture, my wife always tells me. But I shouldn't say that, because most likely weed would not make you talk this way. Maybe a couple scotches would make you go, You know what I want to do? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, if I had the opportunity, I would get rid of at least half these people <laughs> in the world. 50% of the population, I'm going to get rid of them. That's my dream, and that's my plan, so... And that's fit Newton for a while. <laughs> and the way I do it is get my friend Bill Gates to give me some cash so I can <laughs> vaccinate them. <laughs> Mike, you'll march for gender. We'll march for gun control. We'll march 
asked for abortion. But you just had a human being say, the man that runs all your health owns 90% of our government, left and right. I have a plan. Martin Luther King was like, ah, oh, have a dream. This guy said, won't I have a better dream? We killed half them. Like, this is a Batman series. This is, this is 1970s Robin going, oh my God, Batman, did you hear George Soros and the head of Pfizer? They're at it again. They want to depopulate the world by 500. Yes, Robin, I heard them very clear. We need to find out who exactly attended this forum and who's in the audience clapping for these tyrants. That's an audience. Who, who in an audience goes, you're going to get rid of 50% of the population? No, all right! <laughs> Way to go, vaccine man! Vaccine man, vaccine man. Depopulate the life, it is just his plan. Start them young, right out of their womb. <laughs> this vaccine is good. So think of that, the next booster you think about getting. Alright, that's kind of harsh. Let's get funny. Listen, I honestly don't know a lot that's going on, but I'm one of those guys that think they kind of, kind of know. Meaning like even with our own government. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I believe for the longest time, still do, all politics is professional wrestling. <laughs> no, I'm serious about it. Every four years, like, we're going to stand on... Abortion! I'm for it! I'm for it! I'm for it! I said let him live! <laughs> Every four years, amen. My abortion wants to gun down humanity! Believes in guns and the Constitution! <laughs> it was written 3,000 years ago! <laughs> Then, you know, the Trump thing threw me off. Like, man, something. They went after him hard. Hard. Never seen anything like that. That's the only thing that makes me go, what's, uh, what's the big issue going on here? Right? You'd watch him say things like, you know, um, at that protest, there's good people on both sides, and there was really bad people. And I denounce any white supremacist. I'm not talking about the neo Nazis. And, and then every news channel is like, Trump supports white nationalism. He's wearing a Confederate flag under his pants. Look at it. Take your pants off. Prove to us right now that you don't have underwear as a Confederate flag, you white supremacist. Hayden Savage. Yeah. Like, what the hell? I don't even follow politics. I'm like, how do you not see what's going on? But you had. That's when I saw the zombies crate. The the, the cockatoo. Ah, Trump's a racist. Trump's a And then I was, 
I was like, can we watch the video? And you're like, I don't know, we're working on things. One is like, you know, there's ultraviolet light and some other type of thing, and maybe, you know, maybe that'll work, you know? He said, drink bleach! He said, drink bleach! I've got the money to fund this propaganda. Yes. Make sure you're all in the vaccines next. It's a race Listen, again, I don't care. I just want everyone to live a good life. So I don't get emotionally tied too much in, you know, I say I'm Republican or I say, I'm, I'm never gonna say, I just wanna say I'm a person. I don't wanna make sure the right thing is going on. Right now, we all feel so money and going up. That's why my friends are all into politics. So like, you see that Speaker of the House guy, McCarthy? Took him 15 times. He's finally in. Thank God I'm going the right direction. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is true. Okay, I don't know if this is true. So I asked my friend, he goes, that's weird because McCarthy was the same guy that was like throwing Trump under the bus and didn't really have good things to say about him. And now all of a sudden he said Trump endorsed and I went, um, as a straight guy, something tells me there's some bad pictures of McCarthy somewhere. But if you drop your your emotions and you detach what you want, you know, I grew up around a lot of gangsters. This is very gangster. <laughs> Someone would come out. Like, I'm a Republican, but I'll tell you what, that Donald Trump, when he did January, I'll tell you what, remember 9 11? Just like it. I'm going to say it. So glad we invaded Iraq after all that time. And then go from that to you can't tell me someone I don't know who. Okay, is it Kevin? Can you talk to me? Yeah, well, I'm kind of busy. You want a cigarette before this happens? Oh, you're gonna be speaking. <laughs> you're just gonna see, that's up to you, how quick you want it to happen. <laughs> Round one, number one, you gotta thank me right out of the gate. Round two, you gotta release all the January 6th video. Oh! Deep 
does the evil run? Yes. That's another thing nobody marches about. Nobody marches about that. Epstein's Island, a nobody marches. I guess all I'm saying is when COVID hit, it was the greatest thing that ever happened in my life, and I'll tell you why. It's the first time in my life. I've always had a calling to do my best to hope that humanity takes care of one another and we stop living in fear. Because fear is what controls all. When they started, listen, I, I could have started something a long time ago, but when the vaccine started, they said, you feel, you feel, you as we say. You had that jackass mayor eating McDonald's french fry. <laughs> you mean I can, <laughs> I can ruin my cholesterol by eating fast food french fries? I get this for free if I get this is so good for humanity. I get a cheeseburger from Child Slaver McDonald's to get the back See, I mean this is tremendous part of life. I think he's doing a wonderful job. I think he's doing a wonderful job. Well, when I finally said, you know what? I got God behind my back, and I don't know how long my journey is, but when I said no to it all, and I said, that's my only ruler, and that's the only direction, look what it's put together. Don't stop. Believe in yourself. Use God, not the experts. Not the politicians, not anyone that pretend they're higher than God and your family. God bless you. Hey, Jim, before you go, Jim, before you go, real quick here. How many of you were familiar with Jim Brewer before right now? By show of hands. How many of you want to hear more Jim Brewer? Uh, it's just jimbrewer.com, and then uh, I'll be doing tour dates, and hopefully I'll see you out there. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Clay. One more time, that's our good friend, Jim Brewer. Outstanding. Pow!